Okay, here's another quick animation test of my model that I have in development. And so I'm starting to add a little more detail to her, but it's still going to really push the polygons up. There's maybe there's about 20,000 in them right now. You can see I have some de little detail in the knee, just a hint of the shape of the leg, a little detail in the feet now, but there's still a boatload of work left to finish the feet out, as you can see. I mean, that's just very roughed out. And then up in here, there's a hint of the arms are starting to take some shape in here. And she has actually, she actually has a real mouth now, though no teeth or anything yet like that. But uh, in the previous videos, the mouth was just a separate object that was kind of pasted on the front of it. But now this is actually part of the object. So I still haven't touched the eyes, and I still haven't touched the head. There's a, there, I still haven't touched, if you, well, you probably never noticed the ends of the fingers. The ends of the fingers aren't even done. See, they just open like that. But I'll finish those out too as well. But I'm up to... 20,000, close to 20,000 polygons for this. But so this, in this case, she's attempting the high dive. All right, so there's still one thing that's missing is she has no ankle support here, and you'll see by the bend. But let's see what she looks looks like. Let's see. Oh, there she goes. Let's take a closer look. All right, so... She's learned to swing her arms, which gives her the momentum to do the dive. All right, but without the without the ankles being able to bend there, you see like that, then the then the body falls back a little bit too much, and her and she and her push is pushing her back too much that way instead of up a little bit more, letting her arms carry her across. Let's see if we can probably see it from inside. Let's go see it down here, the inside view. Here we go. Right. And then I have some issues with the mesh. I goofed up again somehow. I accidentally, you'll see this little flashing of the hair right there. That's because once again, somehow, I was working with a separate head on this object, and I somehow got two heads attached to the body at the same time when I was trying to do some copy operation. And I, So I'll have to redo it anyway. But I have a much better idea of where it's heading. Any, and uh, so and really, a lot of the work is all about control of the mesh and how I want it to bend and where I want it to be controlled and so it's still a lot of detail steps of course a lot of this work I just prototype in blender and then I'm all, all this I'm head is heading towards virtual reality environments so I'll have to redo this in other programs as well but blenders a really good start for getting it in motion Okay, that's it for now. The work continues. There'll be more in the future.